Hello and welcome to another video. I know it's been a while and today we're actually going to be mixing things up as I start to take you through the build of the car. Um, last couple of months have been rather busy for me. I've been head down really working hard on the design and on top of that I've actually moved state um, and I'm living over in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona at the moment. However, here we're building the car and that's still in Montune, USA, which is Carson, California. And this is where the majority of the build will be. And then from there, uh, I'm going to be taking essentially the rolling chassis over to Dallas, where I'm working with Dussault Design on the bodywork. And that's where we will fit the, the panels onto the car. Um, and then from there, we'll start testing and running the car in preparation for 2025 Pikes Peak. That's the goal. It's a steep goal, but I'm, I'm working as hard as I can to make that reality. So today's video, I'm just going to run you around uh, what I've got so far. Also, some of the jobs that I'm doing in the couple of days I'm down in Carson, California, working on this thing. Um, and in the following video, I'm actually going to go into a bit more detail about why I picked this particular tub, which is a Tatus F4 tub. It's a full carbon tub. That is what we've got coming up in uh, this video and the next one as well. So let's, let's head over to the car. Okay, so this is what we've got. It is a Tatus F4 tub. It's not the latest. It is, it is um, the previous generation, so a T014. Um, full carbon, full FIA approved, and uh, safety was a key part of this. And again, I'll go through that in the details of the next video, but you can see that's here sat on the build table. I've got some nice 3D prints here that support the tub, stop it moving around. And I have this roughly laid out as it will be in the completed Sandy car. On the back here, I've got the, I've got the SADEV gearbox. This is an SL82 LW. LW stands for lightweight. Um, it's one of their lightest high torque gearboxes. Um, you can see here we have, we have the, the oil tank actually, dry sump oil tank in the front, so not for the gearbox. And then it's a rear stacked gearbox, so the gear set is behind the differential and all that. So that's what we got going on there. So you can see I am using some 3D printed blocks again, just to go and position the gearbox roughly on the right plane so I can mock the thing up. Other pieces, I'm going to be using the, the Sandy wheel from, uh, from the Wolf actually on this car to start with. Um, too much work to do a whole new wheel at this time, so we're going to use and adapt that one. Another really cool thing is we're actually going over to Cosworth Electronics on the car. This is an Antares 8, which is a really high-end ECU, and this does both the work of uh, engine control unit and also data logger. And with this, we're actually using a Cosworth display here. So this is a great, great little display and um, that's got shift lights, warning lights and a full color display as part of it. I like to essentially rigidly mount the display in the car so it's going to sit about here. And that's for the simple reason Pike's Peak is so turny the wheel's typically always got a bit of angle on it and that makes it very hard to read. Also, because this isn't a power steering car, you get a bit of kickback, which is also makes it harder to focus on the steering wheel. Um, so yeah, I prefer that being separated between the two. Now the jobs I'm working on this week are the steering rack. This is a stock Tatas part that I purchased. Beautiful unit, CNC'd actually with a set of uh, ring and, uh, not ring and pinion, uh, uh, pinion gear and rack, rack bar. They go and make grind the gears for those and it looks to be a Tatus unit. Um, I've got it spaced off the tub here because actually we have a protection plate that goes between, but that gets in the way of the access inside here. This is the stock U joint. However, there's only one joint there, which means you'll get an irregular um, speed when you turn it. This is the, basically the physics of twisting a U-joint. When there's only one by itself, you get what's called a, um, velocity variations as you twist it around, which gives you actually a slightly weird feeling. Um, but what you can do is you can put two joints back to back, like these ones. These are called helicopter joints, and you can see these little holes here. They actually line up where the joint is. If you put two of these back to back, and keep them at the same angle, this counter, 
cancels out that velocity variation. So um, I'm very particular about my, uh, my steering needs and this is one of the things I wanted to do there. Um, these joints are also really nice because they're very low friction and they have not much uh, play and lash in them and that's super important for me. So I'm basically mocking up the whole column setup. Um, I have the brackets which, which sit in here and in here, as you can maybe see, it's maybe hard to see, and that, uh, that goes along with a three quarter inch bar and then we go and use a quick release. This is an OMP quick release. It's a really nice unit. It's not your typical splines. It's, uh, let's see if I can get it apart. This OMP steering quick release, so rather than a splined unit, it actually looks more like this. And this slots into this guy there. Um, and that means there's just a lot less lash with it. And this is the weld on piece that I'll put a sleeve over, both bolt and weld. And that's how that attaches to that steering column. So there, there are some jobs, other jobs is actually, and this is a scary one, is drilling and bonding uh, inserts into the, the surface of the tub to mount the Pikes Peak spec roll cage. Um, Pikes Peak's got very different demands for rollover protection than you'd have on a circuit. And so I think it's super important you put a, a serious cage on the thing. So this will be like an eight point cage, all designed in CAD. And um, I'm using essentially these 3D printed jigs to accurately position um, on the tub where I want to go and drill the holes. There's one there. Got this other one here. That locates like this. Like so drill in there. And then on the underside, you actually bore it out a bit bigger to something along the diameter of that. And then these plates will get printed in aluminum and then fully bonded in there. And that means when you bolt it up, you've got uh, this whole aluminum insert, aluminum insert to, to tighten up again. So you won't go and crush the sandwich construction of the carbon fiber. So that's the way to do it. Um, as always with the carbon fiber stuff, the outer skin is very accurate, but the inner skin is, you know, has a bit more variation to it. So I'm printing out these, these fixtures and parts to check the fitment is as I expect. And I'll adapt that design and then go and get these made. Um, so yeah. Step one is drill into a rather nice carbon fiber tub. So they're the big jobs. I've got a few other things to do, like sorting out the fuel cell, which is down here. You need a much bigger fuel pump, um, figuring out where a battery's gonna go. That's another headache. Um, coming up with the mounts for that, the Cosworth dash. Um, yeah, which is I think plenty of jobs for me to be getting on with at the moment. Also, of course, go and record new videos. So that's the update. So thank you for joining me on that quick walkthrough, a little insight to what I'm up to and also to see the thing in the flesh starting to get put together. Um, I'm gonna be trying and doing more of these videos uh, as this build keeps going on, uh, sharing with you lots of little details along the way, along with a few sit down, um, sit down conversations that I've been doing previously where I go into quite quite a lot of depth in some of the design aspects of the car. So doing my best to double up on the video making. Uh, my plan is just to have it raw, maybe not that edited, but just to get loads of great information to you all and share the build with you because I am really enjoying the process, even though it's pretty stressful. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon.